Hey guys, today we're making my go-to buttermilk biscuit recipe. This is a great recipe. It's super yummy, super flaky, and I think you will enjoy it. So let's go ahead and get started. Begin by combining your dry ingredients. Three cups all-purpose flour, two tablespoons sugar. The sugar does not make these sweet, it just elevates the flavor. Four teaspoons baking powder, one teaspoon baking soda, and one teaspoon salt. Whisk these together until thoroughly combined. Next, you'll add your cold butter. You want to cut your butter into one-fourth to one-half inch cubes. Then you'll use a pastry blender to cut the fat into your dry ingredients. You could also use two knives. It will take a little bit longer this way though. You could also use a fork. If you're gonna use a fork, I suggest that you freeze your butter and use a grater to grate it into your dry ingredients. You wanna continue cutting in the fat until it resembles coarse cornmeal. The butter should be in about the size of small peas. Next, you'll add one cup buttermilk. Stir this together and then you'll go, you're going to dump it onto a floured counter. You want to bring your dough together, fold it over itself and Kind of form it into a ball that will stay together. Fold. Once your dough is staying together nicely, it still will be a little crumbly and that's okay. But you can see the little butter particles in your dough and that's what you want. That's gonna make your biscuits nice and flaky. Use a bench scraper or something to fold the dough over onto itself. This makes the nice layers of your biscuits. I like to fold my dough about four times. Once you've folded your dough, you're going to pat it into one inch thickness. If you like smaller biscuits, you can pat it into a half inch thickness. You can use a bench scraper or a knife or a circle cutter. I have my pan lined with parchment paper. Though because of the butter in these, they don't tend to stick to your pan. So if you don't have parchment, that's okay. So once you cut out your biscuits, you wanna place them on the pan about one inch apart. When I cut my biscuits out, I press the cutter straight up and down. You don't want to twist it. That will allow your layers to rise ni much nicer than if you twist it. If you twist it, it tends to seal those layers up. With the scraps, just form them back into together. And I don't knead them or mix them. I just kind of press them back together. And then I cut out the rest of my biscuits. This recipe makes between 10 and 12 biscuits.
Put these in the oven at 425 degrees for 10 to 15 minutes or until golden brown. Brush them with melted butter and then serve warm. You can see they have nice layers, nice and flaky. These are delicious. You can serve them with gravy or jam or honey. Enjoy.